the situation of going out with your friend, going to dinner, leaving dinner, walking half a block, and getting attacked by another woman for no reason, no reason at all. But then you saw a wig on the ground, and your friend were like, oh, I got a wig on the ground. And two seconds later, the owner of that wig comes running up and attacks you and your friend for 10, 15 minutes. Huge crowd. Everyone's recording. This crazy person is going between you and your friend, you and your friend, and being both of you up as you're kind of gaining to self. She jumps on you when your friend is getting self jumps on her. No one is helping. And you're, you and your friend are screaming for help because you don't know what the fuck is going on and why it and it. Be careful. If you go into the West Loop, you know, it's it's not a good time anymore. I mean, I, we didn't even make it to a bar or a club, and that wasn't really our intention. We just wanted to go out to dinner. I have a busted lip. I just put some lip gloss on because I don't, I don't even have chapstick, but I have a busted lip. I have this, which looks very scary to me. I have scratches here. I have a humongous scratch here. Um, you know, I'm just kind of, yeah. I don't even know what to say, but it's very frightening that you can, this can happen to anyone for no reason at all. Nobody will do anything. There was a crowd of maybe 30 people, 20, 30 people, and no one really helped. There was bouncers around, there was men around, there was men protecting her so other people didn't get involved. Everyone was recording at some point. She, I mean, she ruined, right? She, she destroyed my very expensive shirt. And I emphasize the expensive because it was very expensive. And, you know, she's not going to pay for it. Um, I didn't have my shirt on because the shirt is it's a certain style. And anyways, she managed to remove my shirt. And so there's videos and, and that I feel so exposed, like so unbelievably exposed. And there's videos of me with getting hit by this crazy person without my shirt on, screaming for help. Like, that's really humiliating. And my friend as well. And we literally only had each other. Um, yeah, all of this happened, again, for no reason. Um, very volatile place the West Loop has become where it's just it's full of trash honestly people that are violent and you know wanting to attack other people for absolutely no reason honestly I hate to say it in that manner but once it happens to you you start seeing things differently and I do I'm a little confused. Actually, I'm a lot confused. If you actually live in Chicago and you don't know what it is, then I'm confused as to why this should be a surprise to you because it's not a surprise to me. The surprise here is hearing that she's blaming men when she got attacked by a woman. So even though you got attacked by the woman, you still want to find a way to say that men are the problem. All right, let's go ahead and take a step back. How long have we been talking about crime is down? Joe Biden says that crime is down. Kamala says that crime is down. Brandon Johnson, the mayor of Chicago, not only is he getting rid of shot spotter or has gotten rid of shot spotter, but he's saying that it's okay for people to gather, just gatherings. He's just having a cookout, a picnic. I don't know what it is that he thinks that it is, but it seems to be something that those people in these places have in common because as soon as someone speaks about doing something about the crime, y'all have a fit. Specifically women, you know, women, because you want to be concerned with having a B's and being able to get a B's on every corner, as opposed to thinking about the rampant amount of crime that's going on. We have been talking about crime for three years. And while they're saying that it's down, shout out to Doogie in Baltimore. It doesn't seem to be. And just like I said, and just like I said, people seem to think it's not a thing until it happens to them. That's being reactive. I don't know how many times I have said it. No one wants to do anything about it. And I think one of the reasons why is because the people that are typically doing these violent crimes typically look like you. I'm going to go ahead and assume that this woman is black. I, you know me, I'm Auntie Ruckus around here, not able to speak about things that are actually true because it hurts people's feelings. What do y'all want from me? She is the exact person I've been talking about already. I said, 
These people don't care until it happens to them. I already do care because I don't want it to happen to me, nor none of mine. I say it all the time. Stay away from me and mine. Don't I? I'm, I, I just don't understand why it is that people have to wait until something happens and then blame someone else when you see who the damn perpetrator is. Who's supposed to help you, man? Who exactly? The police. Based off of the comments, the police are the ones that came and arrested the woman. And here's the thing, ma'am, because of defund the police and it's not right, it's not fair and disproportionately affected, that person is out already, I promise you. That is, that person that attacked you, I promise you, in Chicago is already out. Y'all never have anything to say until something happens. Now she want to put out this PSA. Ma'am, you're telling normal people that don't even live there stuff that we already knew. I'm confused as to how you didn't. How is it that it gets from you being, atta being attacked by a woman randomly? Let's go ahead and leave it at random. And then you blame men for not doing something for you. Yes, this is where we are right now in life. And when I speak on this, I get called all these names, but then y'all get up here and say what actually happened to you. And everybody got empathy and sympathy. And I'm not saying that this woman should have been attacked at all. You know, I always say, keep your hands to your damn self, leave me and mine and everybody else the F alone. But when you try to say, um, we have a problem that's bigger than stupid stuff like ABs because y'all, this woman right here, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly will go and vote for Kamala for president. She ain't talked about a bit of crime. Don't want to stop crime. She'll go and vote for Brandon Dam Johnson that sticks up for the daggone criminals, for the daggone gremlins. And then somehow, some way, find a way to blame you gentlemen. Shout out to y'all. Don't forget SYCBM, gentlemen, SYCBM. I don't know why it is that y'all can't see that you work against your own interests with everything and then come out and complain looking half damn crazy. Why is it that if you got attacked, you then have to come onto the internet, social damn media, tickety damn talk and show everyone what the hell happened and what the hell, tell everyone what happened and show everybody what you look like. Child, the news got all that covered, which is why I'm confused as to why it is that you think that you really telling anyone anything. Oh, you don't believe me? Let's go ahead and take a look at what just happened last night in Chicago. <laughs> Breaking news on the city's southwest side, multiple people robbed at gunpoint there. Some of those robberies were just minutes apart. Our Asal Rezai is live at Chicago Police Headquarters with what we know so far. Good morning, Asal. Yeah, good morning, Mugo, Audrina. We know almost 10 victims in four different armed robberies so far have happened this morning. Thankfully, none of them were injured. The suspects only getting away with personal belongings. We'll show you a map of the different locations police have reported the armed robberies at so far. It hasn't been confirmed if it's the same suspects each time, but the first one happening on California between Kedzie and Western just after one o'clock this morning. We're told two women were walking on the the sidewalk when two armed suspects approached them before making them get on the ground, demanding their belongings, going through their pockets, and then driving off in a dark colored SUV. Then again, about 20 minutes later, around 1.30, they targeted two more female victims, this time on South Sealy. Five minutes later, near Archer and Kedzie, the suspects approaching five victims, three women, two men. Then again, just one minute later, near 47th and Western, they approached a man and a woman in a driveway. Same thing, two armed suspects, ordering them to get on the ground before taking off with their belongings and a dark colored SUV. All of these happening in less than 30 minutes earlier this morning. We're working to confirm the fifth armed robbery happened likely in the same area in Brighton Park. Right now, police say they're searching for those suspects. And so far, they've made no arrests. I'm live at Chicago Police Headquarters. That's all. I am making this video on September the 9th at 7 a.m., that news was on when I woke up at 5.30. That news program broadcast about what happened last night was at 5.30 a.m. And I'm just a little bit confused as to why this woman does not know where she lives. She wanted to be out there, her and her friend. And again, I'm not saying that anything should ever happen to anyone. But when we try to bring it up and say that there's more important things to have on the agenda besides A, damn B's. ABs is just not on the top of the list. And I just don't see how that pushes America forward and helps out all Americans in any way, shape or form. We continue to see crimes. We just saw a mass um, in, in Georgia. We just saw uh, or I heard about another incident at a school where another child, I believe, is deceased and no one is parenting these kids. 
Gremlins all over the place. Chicago is an ish show. Uh, Oakland is an ish show. Baltimore is an ish show. Memphis is an ish show. But somehow, some way, the priority for women, the priority for women is a damn beast. When you can go and get that wherever the hell it is that you need to travel to. Because not to call this woman out, she certainly know how to travel. This woman certainly know how to travel. She got all her traveling up there, out of the country, Europe, all that, but don't know how to maneuver in the town that she live in. Child, I'm done with this. Y'all let me know what you think. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you all in the next one. We do not care.